What is up, guys? My name is Robert Donaldson, and today we are back with episode number two of Rob's Best Bets for the date of November 29th, 2022. As always, you can find me on Twitter at RobDFB. And if you want more content in the future like this, definitely hit that like and subscribe button. It really um, helps me out as far as the YouTube algorithm goes, but it also helps me out with just kind of like that motivational uh, side of me and actually wanting to make content for you guys. Um, and just to give a recap of yesterday's performance, it went really great. Um, we ended the day three and one while hitting on Washington minus five in a double digit blowout win. Uh, we also hit on Pittsburgh plus nine and a half. That's the Pittsburgh Panthers um, in college basketball um, at plus nine and a half. And they actually outright won uh, by more than 20. And we also hit on Alex Highsmith recording over 0.75 sacks. Um, and that was also a plus money hit at plus 140. So not too bad. Uh, we did drop our four unit play with Tulane. Uh, missed out by a few points there, but we still ended the day well in the green for a very solid 4.75 units gained. Um, that said, keep in mind, all unit sizing is based on units risk. So I got a few messages about that yesterday. Um, just keep that in mind moving forward. Uh, when we are betting, say, like one unit um, at minus 110 odds, you are not going to get that one unit back on even odds. Um, and we're not going to be betting over that one unit to try to gain uh, one unit. What we're betting is one unit, and we're letting the juice kind of eat into that if there is any juice to um, actually eat into that. Um, that said, it's a new day with a lot of great college basketball, so let's get right into the video. And for our first bet of the day, we're going to be taking a little bit of a square pick here. Uh, we're going to be taking the Missouri Tigers at minus one and a half. Um, this line did fall a little bit from minus two, but I'm not really worried about um, that and kind of a pick them type spread. Um, just given the track record or the track that I think this Missouri team could be on this season, I don't think we're going to get a lot of favorable pick them lines like this the rest of the way. Uh, when you look at the pieces they added in the offseason via the transfer portal, you never really know how that's going to play out. It can be a total mess where you're playing essentially AAU ball, um, or you can have a lot of chemistry with a lot of different moving parts um, and guys who have never played with each other before, and that's exactly what's happening with this Tigers team. You know, whether it's guys like Isaiah Mosley from Missouri State, who we've been watching all these years um, just tear it up in the Missouri Valley, um, or Demoy Hodge uh, from Cleveland State, or Nick Honor from Clemson, Noah Carter from Northern Iowa, uh, DeAndre Golston, sort of an underrated pickup from Milwaukee. These are all quality players, and they're really playing some quality basketball um, right now. And, and they're all seniors, you know, playing in their final season. And the product they're putting out right now is a really good one. And there's a lot of chemistry there. There's a lot of scoring. Um, definitely st some things that they can still iron out. But I do think this Missouri Tigers team is on a, a track to the tournament, um, which is exciting for that fan base. And uh, let, let's go ahead and lay the minus one and a half with them today. Um, not going too large on it. We're going to let this one play out just because it is at Wichita State. Uh, that said, uh, give me the Missouri Tigers at minus one and a half for two units for our first pick of the day. For our second bet of the day, we're going to be turning our heads to the Big Ten ACC Challenge, and specifically, we're going to take a look at the game of Clemson going up against Penn State, and unlike a lot of traditional Big Ten ACC matchup games, we're actually going to be fading the under in this one. We're going to be going with the over of, at this time of recording, 133.5, and a half. and I think what we've seen from both of these teams so far this season is that stylistically they're both evolving a bit or changing a bit. Um, you know, on both sides of the court, we're seeing teams that um, are efficient on the offensive end, and we're seeing teams that are pushing the pace quite a bit and scoring in bunches. And although leaning on the under in most Big Ten games, especially especially um, interconference games, is typically the way to go. Uh, let's actually go ahead and put that to the test here. Um, again, I'm not laying a, a massive bet here. We're only laying two units. Um, feel free to lay more if you would like, but that's all I'm doing. Um, let's take the over at 133 and a half in this one. Um, and let's see how this pans out. I have a good feeling about um, Penn State just coming to play on the road, being efficient. And what we saw from Clemson in, in um, their most recent tournament here, um, 
they can score a little bit. So uh, give me the over. I'm feeling pretty good about that one, but we'll see how that goes. For pick number three here, we're going to be going the other way on a total and taking the under in a little bit of an off the radar sort of game. Um, as the fighting Frank Martins <laughs> take on South Florida in a game that I could definitely see just being a defensive heavy slop fest. You know, the under is almost always a good play when, when Frank Martin is involved in a game. Um, that said, this one's no different. You know, for UMass, they've definitely adopted that style of play. And on the South Florida side, this is a team that for a few years now has lived in the high 50s, low 60s, especially in games where... Um, the end result isn't a foregone conclusion, and it's actually a game where, um, you know, ex you expect two teams to actually go at it a little bit um, and not one team just kind of running away with it. Um, I, I think this ends easily under the, the total, to be honest with you. So give me the under of 134 and a half for three units for pick number three here. I feel pretty confident about this one. For our fourth play of the day, uh, let's turn our attention back to the ACC Big Ten Challenge again, this time to the Wisconsin-Wake Forest matchup. And, you know, Wake Forest has been an impressive team in the early goings this season. Uh, that said, I don't know how you can't take Wisconsin here. You know, Wisconsin just picked up wins over USC and Dayton pretty convincingly, um, convincingly and they nearly knocked off Kansas um, in overtime, um, it took a miraculous shot from Kansas at the buzzer to win it. Once again, this Wisconsin team just looks poised to make a run again. And, you know, they're going, they're still playing great defense. Um, and when you factor in that Wisconsin is going to be playing this game in the Kohl Center, there's just no way I don't take the Badgers here um, laying the minus five and a half. So uh, give me Wisconsin laying the minus five and a half for three units for our fourth bet of the day. All right, so now for play number five, uh, let's turn our heads to the Big 12 Big East matchup that we're about to see between Baylor and Marquette. And in this one, we have a pretty tight spread, which might be a little bit surprising to some of you guys. Um, that said, I am all about the Golden Eagles in this one, believe it or not. You know, when you look at Marquette, they've won 10 straight games at home. And on top of that, these are just the type of games that make Shaka smart Shaka smart you know just go back and look at the games Marquette has won at home um, or did win at home last season in a relatively bad year for them um, and you're going to see teams like Illinois Villanova Providence St. John Xavier you know the Pfizer Forum much like a lot of the venues we've already talked about so far is one of the more difficult places to play in college basketball and Honestly, this Baylor team just doesn't seem like the uh, same regular season bully that we've seen in years past. Um, so give me Marquette plus six and a half here with confidence laying down four units in a game that I definitely think they could end up winning outright. All right, last but not least, let's head over to another Big Ten ACC Challenge game. Uh, we've had quite a few of those over the past two days, and uh, this time it's going to be between Michigan and Virginia. And once again, in this one, we have a kind of the similar dynamic of uh, a top five team, or in this case, a top three team and an unranked opponent, you know, featuring a pretty tight spread of either plus four or minus four. And much like with Marquette, I'm taking the home team. I'm looking for a resume builder here. And I really do think Michigan ends up winning this game outright. And there's no doubt that this arena is going to be just on fire. You know, a common saying is that defense travels in college basketball. And to a degree, I do believe that. Um, and from a reputation standpoint, you know, Virginia is always just going to be up there with the style that they play. Uh, but I'm not sold on this Virginia team just yet. You know, they, they started picking up a lot of buzz um, after beating Baylor in a neutral site game a little bit more than a week ago. But like I was saying earlier, I'm still not sold on this, on this Baylor team this year either. And with Michigan, they're definitely one of those teams that does play up to the moment. And this is a big moment for them to step up. You know, factor in that they've also found a complimentary rhythm outside of just feeding Hunter Dickinson down low. You know, you've got a dangerous team. Um, so with that said, give me Michigan plus four for four units 
And let's even go ahead and throw an additional one unit bet on the money line here as well. Um, this is a game, like I said, I think Michigan wins outright. Um, but in the event that it does come down to uh, a, a classic situation or a, a buzzer beater situation, let's hold on to that plus four um, for safe keepings and, and just kind of um, take that and ride with it. That said, definitely drop a like if you appreciated this video and want to see more in the future. And also hit subscribe. Um, and if you want to even go a step further, follow me on Twitter at RobDFB. I'm always tweeting about um, not only bets, but, you know, football, baseball, college basketball, um, a lot of different sports, a lot of different random things as well. Uh, definitely hit me with a follow on there. I'm um, just to kind of stay engaged. And more importantly than anything, drop a comment. I, lo I love seeing comments um, probably more than any of those other previous things that I mentioned. I just like to see people engage and actually um, take an enjoyment. Um out of this con uh, out of this content that I'm putting out there. Uh, that said, um, I will see you all in a future video. Take it easy.